All right, I have arrived at the location. I got this mysterious email that said, uh, meet me at 447 in downtown LA. And I was like, okay. You said I will not be disappointed. Um, so we're just gonna come in here and uh, let's see what happens. This is 447 here. It's a strange looking door. Um, let's go ahead and see what's inside. Fred, what Hi, are you do? What are you doing here, man? Come on in. Welcome to Robot Dynamics Photo Shoot. Oh, oh. So this is uh, we're dealing with some of the robots, huh? That's right. Come All on. right. Got well, some cool stuff well let's go on down. Let's see what's going on. What, what do you guys got doing on here, huh? So we're in downtown LA and uh, Don Miller's studio, uh -huh. and uh, we're doing a photo shoot for our new robot Luna. Oh, oh, so this is what the mysterious uh, images have been going out everywhere. People have been talking about, you know, is Apple creating this new robot? <laughs> and so it's actually you. You yeah, are. There's you are been some rumors going on, and it's uh, kind of annoying, but also very flattering to be compared to Apple. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's head on down. Let's see you what's going see on. Yeah. yeah. Come on and meet Luna. So how long have you been working on this? Uh, Luna's been in development since we released Tyler, so uh, about summer of 2008. Okay. Uh, she's been in uh, design. Yeah. And we've been playing around uh, with her in our office since uh, November of uh -huh. last year. And this is the first time really that people outside our office have actually seen it. So it's a very exciting day for us. Yeah, yeah. And so there has been no, other than the, the leaked Apple footage, Apple footage, um, <laughs> this is the only time that somebody or that people have been able to see yeah, Luna. Yeah, Alex actually shot that footage and we sort of have an idea of how that got out. Uh, yeah. But, you know, when you can't claim it, it's a sort of a moot point. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, like I said, it's flattering to be, you know, considered an Apple product. But uh, I, I think... Uh, what you can see is distinctly RoboDynamics. Okay, well let's go check it out. Come on in, welcome. I think that was our friend that we just passed by there, I'm not too sure. Are we shooting guys? Yeah, we're doing these guys. Alright. So, well, let's see what we got here. And this is the mysterious Luna. This is the mysterious Luna. Five foot two inches, eight inch touchscreen LCD, beefy dual core processor, and a pretty kick ass body. Um, something you would want to live with at home. Yeah, and, and it, do you guys have somewhat of a price point you guys are going to be dealing uh, with here? We're not giving an exact price point, but suffice to say that it'll be the price of a, 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 an average laptop. Yeah. Can we get a little bit closer? Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. An average laptop. So what's an average laptop? Like the $500 ones you get from... Uh... No, well, so those, are, those are low. And so <laughs> yeah. The goal is really, uh, by, by, by the second or third generation, the goal is to get it down to about $500. Okay. Uh, so initially it might start a bit higher, but really the idea is to uh, provide people uh, an affordable platform uh, that, that is made in some, uh, with some measure of reliability and capability. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and you, and you, you also said you're going to be releasing um, an app store with this, correct? That's right. So, uh, one of the main features of this uh, robot is that it, it has native support for an app store. And so, when people ask me what does she do, I, I tend to answer, you know, it's not so much about what does she do; it's about all the things that she uh, is not doing yet. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, so uh, kind of like your iPhone. Yeah. And all the incredible applications that. Have been around for the last four years, but weren't even possible four years ago. Yeah. So we're hoping that with a with, a, with an affordable, reliable, and, and um, uh, pretty good-looking robot like this, that that uh, people can buy for under a thousand dollars. Yeah, and, you, and people can also attach different like arms for different situations. I, you also told me there was a little bit of different uh, uh, or not only applications, but physical. Right. Um, so, so so the way we define apps is not just software but software and or hardware. So, for example, uh, you, you, can, uh, you can pull the arms out and uh, behind that arm is what we call an LXB, a Luna expansion port, which is really a standard USB port, so any USB device will plug in. Uh, but underneath that, you actually get five and 12 volt regulated power. So you circumvent the limitations of the USB power situation. So if you have uh, an articulated arm or, or a 
dart launcher that needs a lot of juice, you can get that directly from the battery source. Yeah. And so we think that when we say app, an app might be, uh, you know, a, a couple of arms that, that carry a patient or serve drinks or whatnot. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, let me tell you something about these arms. These arms don't do anything, they're, they're, they're really for aesthetics, but what you can do is you can unscrew them, move them up 90 degrees, and uh, you see these uh, grooves? Yeah. Uh, there's a tray that actually uh, latches onto that, and so at some point somebody's going to write a drink server app, and so it's going to be able to serve drinks at your party. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, what's, what's your dream situation? What, what would you build, and what would you make Luna do? Um, one of the cool things we've actually been playing around with is this idea of a party photographer. So, so it's looking for, you know, whenever there's two, three people um, clumped together, kind of walks up, greets them, hey, would you like a picture? And it snaps a picture and it can show it on your screen. Um, and then if you want, you can email it to you or, you know, post it to your Facebook. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the ideal That's thread. not the ideal, that's just something <laughs> but that, that that's, that's, really something, cool. that's the ideal Fred situation for Luda. <laughs> um, well, you know, our, our, our pedigree is in uh, robotic telepresence. We, we're the first company in the world to, uh, to distribute and actually get installed a commercial enterprise-grade telepresence robot. And we've become very nuanced about uh, what the different verticals are within enterprise and how they're being used, how they're being deployed, and what the challenges and what the solutions are. Yeah. And the reason we decided to design this robot was it was very obvious to us that there's definitely a need for telepresence in the enterprise. But that as price points decreased, uh, you were going to open up verticals in a much more nuanced way. And so we wanted to create something uh, that was affordable and reliable that we can make in, in large quantities. That's how Luna came about. But pretty soon we realized that it doesn't need to be a single utility robot. So by the time we release this end of this year, you'll be able to uh, purchase... Uh, just in time for the holiday season. Just in time for the holiday season. <laughs> you'll be able to purchase um, several different telepresence applications through the App Store. Um, uh, but, but what really interests me are all the things other people are going to do. Yeah, so once you get the SDK out there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And we'll, we'll be making some announcements about that um, sometime around mid to late summer. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, this is fantastic. And uh, once again, just a quick review. This is the Luna, or is it Luna, or just Luna? Luna. Luna means the moon, and, and really the idea is that putting a robot in every home is kind of like the moonshot of our generation. So. Yeah. Okay, and it's got a price point between an average laptop of maybe fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars, around there. If you don't get it for a thousand dollars in the first batch, you'll be getting it by the second or third batch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, and it'll be out just in time for the holidays. Yeah, so uh, th there will be a, a pre-sale page um, that, that will go up at some point. We'll have some announcements about that soon, around May time frame. Uh, and uh, people can pre-order them and uh, delivery is first come first serve starting in quarter, fourth quarter. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again for the invite and this was okay. a fantastic, fantastic surprise. Of course, of course. I'm really glad you guys got to see it. All right. Thanks so much, Fred. Thank you.